Hello everyone, here is Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the fancy shawl. So, if you want to learn how to do this, stay with me till the end. And also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new tutorial. In my today's project, I'm going to use this yarn cake here. It is 250 grams. It's acrylic and this has 1000 meters. You are also going to need a 5 mm crochet hook, yarn needle and a pair of scissors. So let me clear this off and let's get started. To start your shawl, go ahead and make a magic ring. And now chain 4. This counts as your first double crochet and one chain space in between. Now inside of your ring make three double crochets. Chain two. Three double crochets. Chain one and one more double crochet. Now pull at your tail to close your magic ring. And now to start your next row, go ahead and chain three. This counts as your first double crochet. Now turn your work, chain one more, this counts as a one chain space in between. Now make three double crochet here inside of your one chain space from the previous round. One, two and three, chain one. And now go to your two chain space from the previous row and make three double crochets, chain three and three more double crochets. Now chain two and another three double crochets. Chain one. Now, in your one chain space from the previous row, make three double crochets, chain one and another double crochet, like this. So you are always going to start your row with a double crochet. Now chain three. This is going to be your first double crochet and turn your work and chain one more as a one chain space in between and work inside of your first chain from your previous row, three double crochet, then chain one. Now you have here one double one, excuse me, one chain. So you are going to make three double crochets. Now chain one and here is going to be the corner of your shawl. So in here you are going to make three double crochets, chain two and three more double crochets. So one, two, three, chain two and one two and three 
Now chain one. And in the next one chain space make three double crochets chain one and in your last one chain space go ahead and make three double crochets chain one and another double crochet okay so this is going to be your pattern repeat for a total of six rows so you have one two and three now go ahead and make three more rows and meet me back once you have this done okay so i have here my six rows now for the next row chain three this counts as your first double crochet so turn your work and now we are going to make in our very first stitch so this one here two more double crochets and now inside of your one chain space from the previous row make one double crochet one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row one double crochet in your one chain space one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row okay so work like this till you reach your corner and then inside of your two chain space from the previous row you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two more double crochet and then repeat till the end of the row so one double crochet in each double crochet one double crochet in your one chain space and here in your very last double crochet so this chain three you are going to make three double crochets so the same as you've started so you've started with three double crochets okay so meet me back once you have this row done now for row eight chain three this counts as your first double crochet turn your work and make two more double crochets in your very first stitch now chain one skip one and in the next one double crochet chain one skip one and in the next one double crochet chain one skip one and in the next one double crochet and then work like this till you reach your corner and inside of your two chain space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two more double crochet and then you are going to start working on the other side so double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and you are going to end up your row with three double crochets all in the same stitch row nine so chain three and turn your work and make two more double crochets on your very first stitch so in your very first stitch and now one double crochet in your next stitch chain one one double crochet in your one chain space from the previous row chain one one double crochet in your one chain space chain one and the, go to your next one chain space and make your double crochet okay so work like this till here so i'm going to work with you
okay now here we are going to make one double crochet in here so skip one and in the next one double crochet chain one and now make your corner so two double crochets chain two and two double crochets all in the same two chain space from the previous row now chain one skip your next stitch and in the next make one double crochet chain one and now you are going to work in your one chain space from the previous row now to end up your row so you're going to chain one skip this one and in the next make one double crochet and now make your last three double crochets all in the same stitch one two and three chain three Turn your work and row 10 it's going to be a repeat of your row 9 okay so meet me back for row 11 so let me show you first how to start your row 10 okay so you have this chain 3 it counts as your first double crochet then make two more double crochets in the same stitch and now chain 1 skip the next and make one double crochet in your next stitch chain one and now you are going to make your double crochets inside of your one chain space from the previous row okay so this is going to be your row 10 and then meet me back for row 11 okay so row 11 chain three turn your work and in your very first stitch make two more double crochets and now make one double crochet in each stitch and one double crochet in each chain like so and meet me back once you're here okay so you've reached your two chain space from the previous row so inside of your two chain space make two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets and now from now on again you are going to make one double crochet in each double crochet and one double crochet in each one chain space from the previous row and you are going to end up your row with three double crochets in your very last stitch okay so meet me back for row 12 for row 12 chain 3 Turn your work and make two double crochets in your very first stitch. One and two. One double crochet in your next stitch. And now skip two stitches and in the next make five double crochets. like this skip two and in the next one double crochet skip two and in the next five double crochet and this is going to be your pattern repeat then meet me back once you're here okay so now once you're here so you have your five double crochets here 
you've skipped two, then one double crochet in the next. Now you are going to make one double crochet in your next stitch and in your two chain space from the previous row, work your two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets, one and two, and now one double crochet in your next two stitches, one and two, and now skip two, and start all over with five double crochets, skip two, one double crochet, and this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the row. And then at the end of the row, you are going to end up your row by making one double crochet and three double crochets in your very last stitch. Okay, so meet me back for row 13. Now for row 13, you are going to chain three, turn your work and make two more double crochets in your very first stitch. And now this is going to be a repeat of your row 11. So you are going to make one double crochet in each stitch till you reach your two chain space. And then in here you are going to make two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets and then one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row and you are going to end up your row with three double crochets in your very last stitch. Okay, so meet me back for row 14. Start your row, chain three, this counts as your first double crochet and then turn your work and make two more double crochet in the same stitch. Now chain five, skip the next four stitches and in the next make one single crochet. Now chain seven, skip five and in the next one single crochet. You are basically on top of this double crochet. Chain seven, skip five, and in the next one single crochet. Okay, so meet me back once you've reached your pointy part. Okay, so once you're here, you are going to half double crochet in your last double crochet and now chain six to make your point and half double crochet in this first double crochet here and now chain seven and repeat till the end of the row the same pattern Row 15, chain 3, this counts as your first double crochet, turn your work and make two more double crochets in the same stitch. Chain 4 and single crochet into your 5 chain space. Chain 7 and single crochet into your next 7 chain space. And this is how you are going to work till you reach your pointy part. And once you're there, you are going to chain six and make one half double crochet into your six chain space. chain six and make another half double crochet into the same 
6 chain space from the previous row. And from now on you are going to repeat what you've made on this side and then meet me back for row 16. For row 16, chain 1, it doesn't count as a stitch, turn your work and make 3 single crochet in your very first stitch. 1 single crochet in your next 2 stitches and one single crochet in your chain space from the previous row chain 5 and go to your next chain space and make one single crochet chain 5 and to your next chain space make one single crochet and this is how you are going to work till you reach your pointy part and then meet me back to show you how to your work your corner once you're here chain 4 and single crochet in your 6th chain space now chain 2 and single crochet in the same space to create your corner chain 4 and go to your next chain space and make single crochet and from now on you are going to repeat your chain 5 and your single crochets and you are going to end up your row the same you've started so meet me back for row 17 Row 17, chain 3, this counts as your first double crochet and then make two more double crochets in your very first stitch and from now on we are going to work one double crochet in each stitch And work double crochets in your five chain space so five double crochet one double crochet on top of your single crochet five double crochet in your five chain space and this is how you are going to work till you reach your pointy part and once you're here you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets in there okay so meet me back for row 18 row 18 chain three turn your work this is going to be your first double crochet and skip your first stitch and in the next make five double crochets and then skip two stitches and in the next one double crochet skip two and in the next make five double crochets and this is how you are going to work till you reach your pointy part And then once you're here you are going to make one double crochet chain two and one double crochet all in the same two chain space from the previous round and then repeat on the other side of the shawl your pattern so meet me back for row 19 row 19 chain 3 turn your work this is going to be your first double crochet and then make two more double crochets in the same stitch
chain two and now we are going to double crochet all of our five double crochets together so you have six loops on your hook now go ahead and close all together chain two and make one double crochet on top of your double crochet from the previous row chain two and double crochet five together and this is how you are going to work till you reach your pointy part and then once you're here you are going to make your five double crochets together then chain two one double crochet on top of your double crochet and in your two chain space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets all in the same space and then repeat on the other side of the shawl your pattern and from now on i'm going to work my shawl off camera because it's a repeat of all this row so go ahead and combine these rows the way you like and make the shawl in the length that you want i'm also going to make three tassel and attach them on the corners so my lovely crochet friends i am again at the end of my tutorial i hope this was helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below this video Thank you all for watching and I see you soon with a new tutorial. Bye bye!